Something is wrong. Oh my goodness. I think I have it. Oh my God, I have it. I have it! <laughs> I've got the board madness. How's it going everybody? So today's topic is obviously board madness. So uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically when you've gotten to a certain age where you've started to care a little bit too much about the things you're riding and you start tweaking on every little thing within it and trying to find the perfect board for yourself. So for me to tell this, I have to kind of tell you a long story. Uh, I grew up in Northeast Tennessee uh, in a little town called Johnson City. They built a skate park when we were younger. Uh, I had already begun skating at that point. Uh, I started when I was about 13 and the park was not very good. It was by the high school, we still win a good bit, but it just wasn't that great of a park. I had a lot of trouble progressing in it. Uh, so I kind of tended to lean more towards downhill. We were longboarding a whole bunch and then I discovered something called a freeboard. So rode the freeboard mostly for probably from the time I was about 15 till I was about 16 or 17 or so, I rode this primarily. Uh, did a lot of downhill, actually was taking it to skate parks, got pretty good at all that, was very focused on that. Uh, then my parents move us down to Florida. There's no hills in Florida. So, I mean, there's you can't really call those hills. So I attempted to continue to freeboard because I had so much fun and passion for it. And it was really hard. I was just breaking product all the time. Uh, and I just decided, you know what, it's just going to be a lot easier for me to skate. So I'm going to get a skateboard and get back into that. Um, I lived really close. I lived out in St. Augustine. So I lived about five minutes from a park called Treaty Skate Park. And that park was like my home. I was there sometimes two times a day, every day, just all the time skating, skating, skating. Uh, so then fast forward to I'm about 19. So then I get a job opportunity to move to South Lake Tahoe. Uh, with my lady. We move over there. Uh, I get back into freeboarding because there's a lot more hills. I'm very close to San Francisco, which was the base, the home base for freeboarding and grew up seeing the people ride the hills out there. I really wanted to do that. Uh, I was snowboarding at this point. I'd never snowboarded before moving there, only freeboarded. So that helped me actually pick up snowboarding a lot quicker too, surprisingly. It uh, transferred very easily and I progressed very rapidly on the snowboard because of a freeboard. But got really into freeboarding there again. Um, was sponsored by them for a short time, going out and riding with the team and doing all that stuff. I still skateboarded a little bit, but mostly focused on freeboarding because that's what was, you know, that was what was getting me places at that time. So, um, leave California, moved to Colorado, was kind of doing that whole thing for a little bit, still was freeboarding quite a bit there. Um, then moved from Colorado back home to the East coast here in Johnson city. And ever since I've been back here, I've been really trying to get back into skateboarding because I, we do have really good Hills here, but I just, it just doesn't really it's hard to enjoy it the same way. I really enjoy riding the freeboard with people, having a big crew, getting out and riding hills together, shuttling, the whole thing. So there's not that much of a scene here for that. But they just built a new skate park, a town over, and I was like, you know what? I really want to get back into skating. So long story is made short, brings me back to where I am now. So I went, that's what really started the board madness when it comes to my skateboard. So being that I was used to riding a freeboard and a snowboard, I really liked wide boards. So I started out back on nines. That's kind of where that's kind of where I, I felt comfortable on a nine inch wide. And then I started getting introduced to egg boards. So let me show you kind of what happened at that point. This is my progression of boards since then. All right, so the went from the nine up to this this is the heroin razor egg it's a nine and a half wide at the center here um, the egg shapes if you're not aware kind of like a football they narrow out towards the edge but in that center there they're at their widest point these are nine and a half on this one and it's like 9.12 something or another up here by the truck then after that i went to this board which is a nine and a quarter same type of deal football egg shape so you got you're nine and a quarter in the middle. It tapers up to like an 8.8 .8 or so. 
And then now, uh, just as of yesterday, I started riding this board, which is traditional popsicle. It's still kind of got a similar shape. It's not super, um, so it doesn't seem super popsicle -y. Like I put these next to each other and they were, they're actually fairly close. The tail is definitely shorter than the nose, but the wheelbases are the same. Now, wheelbase, let's talk wheelbase a little bit. These are all 14 and a quarter wheelbases. And I did have a board, I did have a, uh, the orange anti-hero that's a nine inch popsicle between, before this one actually. And that nine inch popsicle had a 15, or no, 14 inch, no wait, yeah, 15 inch wheelbase on it. So then I went down to this board and I and this board started getting kind of beat up. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try that, that popsicle out again. Went back to the nine inch popsicle with the 15 inch wheelbase, could not ride it. Just like it just didn't feel right. It just felt very odd. So then I ended up back on this board and then I went to this one. And then this one also has a 14 and a, and a quarter inch wheelbase. And when I changed over from this one to this one, it really didn't feel that much different. Also what's changed throughout all that, one, I've been chasing wheels. So I tried the dragons. Yeah, dragons are pretty fun. Yeah, they're pretty fun. I don't know, they're okay. Um, I started chunking out one set of them, so I kind of stopped riding them. I've always kind of been going back to these conical fools. Those have kind of been my placeholder wheel. Um, but then I got these, I can't remember what these are actually. They're a Spitfire wheel that's more rounded. I'll have to look up what those are again. But I really like those wheels. But then throughout all that too, I was changing trucks. So I was always on independence in the past. I wanted to try something new. So I got on the Ace Hype, I started riding these Aces. And the Aces were significantly squirrelier than what anything I was really used to. It took quite a bit of getting used to with that because I was a very tight truck kind of guy. And if you know anything about Aces, that does not really jive with Aces. They do not like to be tight. That's kind of the whole point of them is that they're surfy and loose. So I went with those for a while. Um, they felt pretty good, but I felt like I could do better. I saw these Slappies out and I really wanted to try these slappies. So I went to the slappies. They were transitioned from the aces very, very fluidly. No, no big change there. Um, I did have like pretty much the first day or two, it started kind of ripping up the bushing for some reason, which I kind of saw a couple people complaining about that, but um, they felt more stable than the aces. Um, right out of the box, I didn't have to tighten or loosen them or anything. They were really good for that. And these were my first hollow kingpin hollow axle trucks. So I really enjoyed that. Um, but I, I couldn't do some things that I could do in the past. Like just certain things in the skate park. I just could not get back for some reason. And it just felt weird. So I was like, all right, maybe these just aren't it for me. So I made a huge leap going from this board to this board. Because now this is eight. This is an 875. First time I've been under a 9 inch wide board in over 10 years almost. And... I changed my truck company at the same time as changing my board, which I'm a one thing at a time kind of guy where like I'll change a deck, but keep the trucks and wheels or, you know, one thing changes. So to change two things at once, I was like, this is going to feel so weird. But surprisingly, these thunders, I changed the thunders. I don't know if I just mentioned that. These are thunders. They're hollows also, uh, 151s. And yeah, like the transition was pretty smooth from those to like, I had a little bit of getting used to, but I got used to them really quick yesterday. I've only ridden them one time. I did one session at the park yesterday. Um, but first impressions are really good. Like they felt like everything I've been missing with my, with this transition of these boards, they feel more stable, but still kind of surfy. I actually tightened them a good bit and ended up backing it off and backing it off and backing it off to where now it's a little bit looser than what it was at first um, when I first tightened them. Um, but yeah, this is, this has been really cool. I, I really like this board. This board has me hyped on new stuff. So that's kind of been the transition here. You can kind of see what's been happening over the last year ish or so year and a half. And yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at currently. So one thing throughout all this I've been discovering about myself and skateboarding is that, so when I lived in, in Florida and I was skating two times a day, like all the time that was at treaty park like i had mentioned primarily which is a pretty mostly transition park 
I really enjoyed riding the transitions there. That was kind of, I just like to go fast, grind long, like all that type of stuff. Now, as I've been getting older, I've been kind of wanting to get more into tech, which is odd. I feel like a lot of times people go the other way where they either go from doing, uh, you know, tech tricks and then just kind of start riding transition to mellow out or they just go straight to the slappy curves, which I haven't quite got there yet. My, my socks are still pretty low, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, like on the freeboard, I was getting really into doing press combos, which are similar to like manual tricks uh, there towards the end when I was kind of not, when I was still doing it as much as I could. And I'm kind of trying to bring that aspect into skateboarding for myself where I really want to do more manual tricks. I want to be more doing more manual combos and, and technical tricks. I've been working on flip tricks a lot. I've never really been much of a flipper either. Like it was once in a blue moon, I tried kick flip or whatever back in the day. I was, like I said, just fast and hesh and like across the coping as much as I could. Um, but yeah, I've been doing that a lot more. I've been getting a lot more consistent with all of that. And I think that sizing the boards down that way has really helped me have smooth transitions over it. Like it's, I don't think I could have gone from like, at least, I mean, I, you know, you could get used to whatever, but I think it would have been a lot harder and I might've even given up along the way if I would have tried to go straight from that big boy board all the way down to <laughs> all the way down to an 875. So a lot of people would still say that's kind of, kind of a big board. But for me, I'm like 6'1", almost 200 pounds, size 11 shoe, feels pretty right. So I'm just gonna keep down that path uh, hopefully the board net madness subsides. Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> if anybody else knows what's up, it's that the board madness is almost never ending once you get it. So, so yeah, there's not really much more to say about that. Uh, I just kind of wanted to make a little video about that. Talk about board madness, tell a little bit about myself for this channel. And yeah, if you're going through board madness too, let's comment about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, I love talking gear. So let's do it. Hit me up. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.